right, this is the Spike of 40 liter Drover hauler pack. And we're gonna demonstrate how to load a whole whitetail onto this pack for you. So uh, this is a pack that we typically use in Western game hunting because we have to haul our game a long ways and it allows you to bring all of the contents that you need for hunting into the field and then be able to get both uh, all of your belongings and your quarry back out of the field. Um, typically not as useful in a Midwest setting where most people can pull up their side-by-side -side of their four-wheeler and throw it on the back, but the property that we're hunting today, we're in the very back corner of their property and uh, the road was, or the uh, stream crossing was washed out. So we had to go from one corner to the other. So we have a pretty decent walk out. So much too far to try to carry a whole deer out. So we went ahead and processed the deer. We've got it uh, quartered out and loaded in a game bag here. And uh, we're gonna load it on this pack and haul it out. First thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the load lifter straps from the shoulder harness. Next thing we're going to do is disconnect these bottom straps from the bag. Then we're going to disconnect both of the side buckles on each side. That's going to get the bag nearly completely freed away from the frame. Then all we have to do is lift the bag off the top of the frame these buckle receivers through those holes. And you can see the bag comes completely apart from the frame. So for now we'll set that aside and then we'll lay our pack frame down. Got a little blood on this pack because we've been using it a lot this year. Um, got some quick releases on these straps up here that we can pop free and throw that open. This is our sling that's going to actually carry the weight of the meat. What we're going to do today is disconnect these from the bottom and we're going to move them up. The reason for that is the closer you can get that weight to your shoulder, the easier it is to carry. So keeping your center of gravity proportionate. So we're going to bring that up. And I've got a whole white tail uh, right here and that is quite a bit of meat we're gonna set that down on the pack bring that up and we'll take this and loosen up these straps and reattach them to the top on either side That one upside down. There we go. Now I can cinch those up tight. got these compression straps here that are tucked so nicely away for the moment. Pull these out, put them onto the meat, tighten those down. We got some for the top as well. Now you can see we've got all that meat packed tightly to the frame. Now all we have to do is reattach the pack bag and we'll be ready to make our trip out of here. The frame's gonna just attach back to 
by snapping in here at the bottom. Oh, I put that on upside down. I'm not paying attention when I'm doing. Snap those in at the bottom. If you look here, we've got these tethers and then they'll be These straps right here, I'm rolling the thing all over the place, are going to allow us to uh, hook into these tethers here and cinch the bag back close to the frame. Now we left the top for this bag back in the vehicle, so we're not going to use it, but the last deer we hauled out, we were able to uh, use that to secure the rack and the head uh, to the back of the pack, or the face of the pack. So there we go, there's our pack loaded up and ready to haul out.